Hello, I'm Paul Steele from the Air Transport Action Group based in Geneva, Switzerland. For decades now, the aviation industry has been, been at the cutting edge of technology and innovation. We've been trying to make our aircraft as environmentally friendly as possible, and we've achieved some amazing things. But at first glance, if you look at an aeroplane today, you may think it looks very much the same as a plane from the 1960s. It's basically a long metal tube with some wings at the side. But look a little closer, and you'll see that the planes of today are made from much lighter materials, including composites. They have engines that are far more fuel efficient, and we've added some interesting aerodynamic features such as winglets that allow the plane to fly more efficiently through the air. In fact, over the last 40 years, we've increased and improved the fuel efficiency of our aircraft by around 70%. But there's one thing over all that time frame that hasn't changed, and that's the fuel that we use. But we think that's about to change. Over the last couple of years, we've seen a major move forward in the industry's interest in the potential of sustainable biofuels for aviation. And we've recently seen a whole series of successful test flights. In fact, they've been so successful that we're now expecting at least a small quantity of sustainable biofuels to start being used commercially in the next three to five years. So to provide you with some more information on some of the opportunities and challenges that the industry is facing in taking full advantage of these environmentally friendly alternatives to current fuel, we at ATAG have put together this beginner's guide to aviation biofuels. It's an easy to understand look at a subject that's going to be one of the most exciting developments in flight and hopefully a valuable reference material as we move towards the biofuels age. It can be downloaded from our website, www.enviro.aero/biofuels.